All right. Hey, y'all. How you doing? So, um, you know, we had a really awesome time in Colorado part two. You know, we went to Colorado in October of 2020 and we just came back from our May 2021 Colorado trip. We split, we stayed, we splayed, <laughs> we stayed in Colorado Springs, um, which is south of Denver and, um, you know, close to the mountains. Um, we showed video of, <laughs> we stayed um, really close to the same place that we stayed last time. Um, and even though, you know, we made videos showing um, how awesome our trip was, uh, our um, biggest issue was our hotel. And so we just kind of wanted to do a review of the hotel and tell y'all what was really going on with that. Yeah, like. Um, I think this might be a new segment we might start doing since we stay in so many hotels. And I was very hell bent on La Quinta. I always feel like you can't go wrong with La Quinta price and stay. Yeah. But I was 100% wrong on this one. Yeah. So this yeah. one's my fault because I was very <laughs> hell bent on going to this one and I was wrong. Yeah. So um, let's start off with. Um, the La Quinta that we stayed at. So we stayed at the La Quinta, um, which was in Colorado. Acad at the um, Academy. On, um, what is it? The Academy South Boulevard? Yeah. South mm. Academy Boulevard. Um, and we'll make sure that we put the specific address um, at the end of the video so that you guys know exactly which one we're talking about. Um, but we, um, in October, we stayed literally right across the street at the Academy Hotel, which has kind of like a cabin theme. Um, so it's a little, um, like older style, uh, but there was no issues. It was very clean. It was very friendly. They had a really big, um, like breakfast, um, hot breakfast to, mm -hmm. um, serve to you. The staff was very friendly. Um, even though there were a lot of families with children there, it was still very quiet. People were very respectful. There was a restaurant inside too. So. Yeah, there was a restaurant, um, a bar, a pool. Um, so we kind of, we didn't expect the exact same things, but we expected the same like standards when we stayed at the La Quinta. For the price, we, pay, we paid more at the La Quinta than the Academy. So yeah. I would assume the La Quinta would have been better, twice as better. Yeah. Uh, that was not the case though. Um, and we're, we're going to make sure that we're as, um, unbiased as possible. We just want to deliver the facts to you guys and the proof along with those facts too. Yeah, we have you pictures, know, videos. Yeah. No receipts, no proof, right? So let, let's go with the positive, not positives, the positive, the, positive. the staff, to, 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 like we said, not going to be biased. The staff if you ask them, hey, I have something wrong with my room, they will move you. Yeah. They didn't argue. There was no problem. They asked you at, at the end of the um at the end of the stay, what could have what could they they have done better? So Well, she asked us how was our stay and uh, it kind of uh changed around from there. But yeah. keep going. But so to me, that was the positive at this yeah, point. Yeah, the staff the staff wasn't an issue. Um, they were accommodating. Uh, yeah. Now, some of the stuff on our list. Let's see if you can even see that. Some of the stuff on our list didn't necessarily happen directly to us. But we, we did have family there yeah. with us. Um, so in total, um, including us, we had three rooms occupied at the La Quinta. Yeah. So some of it happened to us. Some of it happened to a family member. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we start off in our room, the chair was broken. <laughs> like, if you sat in it and tried to move, it seemed like the whole chair was coming off the, the stick. Yeah, so um, the computer chair where you sit at the desk um, was broken. I think you went to like put your shoes on or something, and it kind of just like yeah, it... fell off to the side. And in addition to that, there was not a lot of space to put your things. There was just the bed, the desk, and then the drawers or the chest of drawers 
that the TV was on top of. So there wasn't a lot of counter space to put your things. And then, okay, so then we get to the, we get inside. Okay, besides the broken chair, the floor was dirty. And then yeah. when I say stains, big red stains. Like Kool-Aid stains. Like, on the floor. Like a child had spilled like half a gallon of Kool-Aid. Yeah. And it looks like there was crumbs on the desk. There was no. It didn't look like there were crumbs on the desk. And it, uh, you know, it, after we go through this list, just know we had to stop at Walmart and we had to get some Lysol and some Clorox wipes and some paper towels so that we could make sure that our room was comfortable enough to stay in because it was, it was not up to our standards. And it's not like we have very prissy or high need standards, but you know, you, you expect what you pay for. Um, and, and sometimes like, like we're not picky. If it's one thing, there's no problem. If it's two things, there's no problem. Once it's three and, it, and it's a bunch, now I'm nitpicking. Like I yeah, found myself. We're going to put everything underneath a microscope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I didn't see the handprints. So, um, I saw the handprints. There were handprints on the inside and outside of the main door. Um, there were handprints on the microwave. There were handprints on the headboard. Um, and it just, it, if we, if I was able to notice it as soon as we got into the room, I feel like the maintenance staff or the cleaning staff should have been able to see those things as well and take care of it before we even get into the room. Those are small things mm -hmm. where all you have to do is just take a rag and clean it off, but they didn't do that. Yeah, and you know what? I forgot to put this on the list. The refrigerator was so loud. It was so loud. It was loud. Like, I could hear it in my sleep. Like, And it wasn't just in our room. My cousin's yeah. room. It was just loud. So we unplugged ours because it was too loud. Yeah. Okay. Um, in my cousin's room, it's like a kid just ripped off a bunch of stickers and put them on the side of the... the uh, Night the, table. Yeah. Like, it was just... I'm like, I'm there pretty like sure maintenance four, saw this. Yeah, there were maybe three or four stickers on the side of the bed where it was just, I don't know, it was weird. It was like the little tags that say like made in China or have like the barcode or like the price or something. Those little square stickers on the bottom of things. And it was just lined up meticulously on the mm -hmm. edge of the nightstand, in between the nightstand and the bed. Now, if you would have made the bed, then you would have noticed those stickers there because we noticed it right away. Okay. Now, now we're going to get to the good part. Oh, God. As soon as we pulled up to check in, there was cops, ambulance, and a guy on a stretcher. While we were waiting, we see the police, we see an ambulance, we see them bring out somebody on a stretcher. Um, and the... Uh, um, we saw the person working the front desk giving a report, so something happened. Like, yeah. We don't know what it was, but that was just the beginning. I have an idea of what it was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then, like, as we pulled up, I mean, we were cracking jokes, but we was like, there's a lot of people working on their cars yeah. out here. Like, a lot of broken down cars that either they were working or they were abandoned. Yeah, and we're not judging people's cars because, you know. We, we don't have no money. <laughs> but every parking lot, there's a there's a it waffle. Was, a, was it Waffle House? No, a no. Cracker Barrel. There was a KFC. Like a Denny's or something. Uh, uh, McDonald's. Uh, uh, Taboo. The, the, was it? Tandoori. Yeah, next to it. Urban Tandoori. Abandoned cars everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere you went. Abandoned car. Or there was people out there working on their cars. So here's the thing. I don't think that they were actually abandoned. I think that these were people that were staying in their cars, their trucks, their SUVs, um, their vans, RVs. and their RVs. RVs. Just, and they didn't yeah. look nice. They, they had uh, sheets covering. Like it, I have a picture. I'm, I'm going to show you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it had a lot um, of very, we'll call them interesting, uh, vehicles around the property yeah. day and night. So, okay. Then like, as we, this may be our first or second day when we all decided to be honest with each other, we were starting to think, do people live here? 
Yeah, uh, I definitely started getting uh, Cecil Hotel vibes. Um, people living there long term because another thing is that when we would walk down the hallway, we were on the third floor. Our family was on the fourth floor. And every time we'd walk down a the hallway, there was um, trash, pizza boxes, towels, just sitting, sitting in the, the hallway. hallway. And um, the trash bags were very translucent. So we were able to see inside of them. And one time we were able to see like an, a, a carton of 18 eggs. Like, like who brings the eggs to a hotel? In the hotel. And that made me start to think, like, somebody's got to be living there using a hot plate or something to uh, be making food. Okay, now, my next part of the list is, we paid over 100 a night. That might not be a lot to some people, but it's a lot to us. Especially so, with our standards for La Quinta. We know how much we're going to pay for La, for La Quinta. We pay that much... That's like our, our average expectations. You know, we're not expecting for them to pull out the red carpet yeah. for us. But we're expecting... Look, keep the standards. Like, they, look, keep the never really fails. Yeah. That never fails. So, over $100 a night, I shouldn't have to pull up and see abandoned cars. Weird looking people everywhere in that. Like I said, Very I'm not judging. Character. But if you see it, you know what weird looks like. Okay. I went online because I went to screenshot some of the pictures of what the hotel advertised and what we saw. Mm -hmm. That's not the same hotel. Those walls yeah. in the picture are what, white or gray? We stayed with purple walls and they were scratched up. Yeah, they they were really like, they just weren't maintained. Yes. I, I don't know if they're really short staffed or what's going on, but... <sighs> The, the rooms were just really subpar. The picture to the restrooms, that wasn't the restroom. Unless that, they have a suite or something, that was not the restroom. And in all three of the rooms, those pictures on the website do not match what we saw. So then my cousin, we go to her room. The first, her first room. Now she had to switch rooms. The first room, when we walked in, it smelled like somebody just stood up and peed in the middle it smelled of the place. terrible it 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 didn't even smell like old pee if you have kids you know or you know, family that has kids sometimes you know you can walk into for some reason boys rooms um they smell sometimes and it didn't even smell like old pee it just it just smelled like fresh urine yeah like they Disgusting. just did it so then okay that's we got that one out of the way so they gave her a second room and when we got into the second room and in, into his cousin's second room um she she originally was supposed to have a king but they gave her um two queens uh because there were not any kings ready and um on her bed closest to the window, there was a mystery um, look, liquid. Yeah, it looked like a goo. Um, Goo is a very nice word. Clear. It looked like... Goo. We ain't going to say it, but... Yeah, it yeah. just... And so... You'll see the picture and you'll yeah. know what we're saying. It, it, but this is inappropriate. This, this is the kicker. She asked for a different set of covers. They brought the, we left. They brought the covers, put them in the room. They didn't switch them, which I can respect that. Her stuff was on the bed. I can respect them not wanting to touch it. But they didn't switch the cover, and the cover that they brought had blood on it. Blood stains. Now, when I read the reviews, I went to read the reviews for this uh, hotel. There are multiple people who saw blood stained sheets. Now, what's the coincidence? Are they lying? Are we lying? We saw it. I got pictures of it. We got receipts. So, that means this hotel is letting people bleed on the sheets and they're giving them to the other people. Yeah, they're not even cleaning them properly so that they don't show up. Because I don't, I don't know, but I've never seen a dirty towel. I've never seen a dirty sheet, and they're all white. So you know they have some sort of industrial cleaning products to make sure that those items 
that those those stains don't show up on those items when they wash them and reuse them. So they didn't do that here. So uh, one day we we're all getting ready to go to uh, Pike's Peak and my cousin, she's in the room by herself. She's getting ready. And I don't know if it was a maintenance guy or a guy that, that worked there. He walks into the room and he looks around and he was like, oh, they told me this room was vacant. And he just left. He didn't knock on the door. He just used the key card and went into her room. Went straight into her room. And with all of these characters standing outside, you got to imagine how it feels to be a female to see a strange man walk into your room. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, one morning I get up, I go to the, toss the trash and I realize the laundry room, like, I, I don't know if it's laundry or, or trash. I'm looking at it from a distance. I think it was laundry. It was just sitting outside. Was it like all white, like towels and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. It was sitting outside next to all of this trash that was sitting on the ground. That was strange, but if that's how they do things, I can't knock them. But it's, it's like one of those things, one, two, three. Okay, now I'm about to start nitpicking. So I see towels and sheets or whatever that was in that great bin sitting outside. It's just not a good look. It's not clean. It doesn't. It doesn't maintain the standards that a La Quinta has, or that Wyndham properties in general have. Yeah. It's disappointing. So now let's talk about the weird people standing around. The same thing. If you go look at the reviews online, every negative review says something about the strange people. Hanging around the hotel. Mm -hmm. And. Not just on the outside. They're inside. In the inside. They're hanging around the um, the elevator. They're hanging around the stairs. They're hanging out in the hallways. Do you have somewhere to be? Do you exactly. have a room? And it's Go like. It. For this price. I'm trying to think of how to say this without being judgmental. For this price. These people. Don't look like. They can afford. For this, if, yeah, is that so? Basically, yeah. Um, you don't expect those type of people, interesting characters, to be there when you pay a hundred plus dollars a night. Um, which I think we we paid like around a hundred and twenty, a hundred and thirty. Yeah, a hundred. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, and that's before taxes. So when you pay that much a night, you don't expect people to be walking around, you know, in the hall, in the halls, like scratching their necks and saying weird things to you. Oh, uh, now the fire alarm. <sighs> Remind you, there's been a cop every single day that we was there. There was cops in the parking lot. And they're not there hanging out eating donuts. No, they're called there. Something has happened. Taking reports, talking Every... to people. Oh, I'm, I'm just filming it this way. Oh, sorry. 8.30 in the morning. 8.30 in the morning. The fire alarm goes off. And it doesn't. Stop. Listen to this. What time is it? 8.30 in the morning. It's 8.30 in the morning. This is what we wake up to. Listen to this. This hotel just keeps getting worse. At first I thought it was just in our room. No. It's throughout the entire hotel. So we've got to jump up. Make sure we got clothes on. We've got to run downstairs and we've got to stand out there with the rest of everybody and wait and watch while the fire department drives up on us, come with like axes and their, um, fi their water hoses ready to put out a fire. <sighs> it was a lot, especially after seeing the police there and seeing all these people you got a dirty room liquid on the sheets blood on the sheets and then now the fire department like 
it just it, it just kept getting worse. Okay. Um, it was terrible, and I was so angry. I'm still angry about it. I'm just gonna be honest. And this was random. This is towards the end of our list. Of random. There was trash in the hallways. I know we said it before, but like, let's be more specific. There was pizza boxes in the hallway. Beer. Um. Beer boxes. Food. Um. Um. What was it? A uh, towels. When we first got oh, to the yeah. fourth floor, there was a whole like pile of tiles. Pile. A towels. <laughs> towels. What yeah. Pile of tiles. Uh, pile of towels. One take, Jay. Uh, it was just uh, <laughs> sitting there it's like, where's the maintenance? Where's the, the cleaning people? Yeah. Do y'all not see? Oh, we oh. saw them. We saw them <laughs> well, they, you know, hanging know. out with their carts on their phones. See, I ain't just, going that far. I ain't trying to snitch on nobody. Oh, okay. Well, I ain't trying to snitch on them. I'm just saying the hallway was filthy. Terrible. <laughs> Disgusting. Random liquids. Like, there was also, like, splatter of something on the wall in his cousin's room. Yeah, my cousin caught the... The worst of yeah, it. Yeah, she caught... Uh, and I guess the mold in the bathroom, me, I don't pay attention to stuff like that. I do. You notice the mold, mm -hmm. hey, but that was our stay in, you know, I'm not trying to trash the people at the front desk because they were understanding. So I don't want this. I want to be fair. I don't want to take this isn't taken out on them. This they is were, for the customer, like the next person that decides that they're going to pay over a hundred dollars to stay at this place. That is what this is for. It's not to trash the workers. Um, yeah, I I almost feel like they were accommodating because they expect it. There were other people. I know there was some lady that, um, after the fire alarm, she just checked out. I, I remember hearing her say, like, I just can't stay here anymore. And so they let her leave. They let her check out. I'm assuming they gave her her money back because there was no back and forth or issues like that. Um, I do want to say that. I will um, be reaching out to a district manager or somebody else above the property manager um, to let them know of this situation and give y'all an update on that. Um, but they just have to do better. This was this is not acceptable. It was not okay. And had it had been just us, then I probably would have put up a fight and, you know, left that hotel but it was us plus our family and i've been bragging about la quinta so everybody was kind of following my lead and i was wrong i i've always been up the brand <laughs> and i was wrong our room to la quinta like i always say i don't care about the trump i don't care about the hilton i don't care about the bellagio i don't care about none of that it's all about the la quinta this hotel if you're going to spend over $100, go right across the street to the academy. Yes. You get a nice little, like, old-fashioned log cabin feeling. Um, you get very nice staff. You get a nice hot breakfast, like a real assorted breakfast. Hey, that, that's, so, that's about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. 